Welcome to Meditations on the Cape. Judas comes with a detachment of soldiers, 300 to 600 of them, plus religious officials looking for Jesus. When Jesus sees this multitude of people with torches and lamps, he asked them, who are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Then Jesus answered, I am. The power released by the proclamation of his identity caused them to lose their footing and they fall to the ground. Then Peter seizes the chance, reaches for a sword and strikes the high priest servant in the head. The guy ducks and he gets his ear cut off. Then Jesus comes immediately, puts his hands on the guy, heals them, and he tells Peter, do you think I cannot call on my father? And he will at once put at my disposal at least 12 legions of angels. Wow, what a statement. And after that, he just goes with them. Now, in the Roman army, one legion was made out of 6,000 soldiers. You multiply that by 12, and we're talking at least about 72,000 angelic warriors. In the Bible, there is this account of one angelic warrior killing 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. If you do that math, 185,000 plus at least 72,000, we're talking about a might to destroy over 13 billion people. That's more than the whole earth population today. Yet, Jesus willingly went to them to be tortured, mocked, and then killed. So we can be released from our failures and our mistakes and participate in victory, triumph, and full eternal communion with Him. So the next time that you're surrounded by bad circumstances, challenges, pressure from every direction, that looks that you are in your own valley of death, concentrate on God's love for you, what He went through for you, and give voice to God's Word that will release the angels to intervene and destroy any hindrances that keep God's blessings from being manifested in your life. Until the next time, God bless.